Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the Imbers Petrel, medium-sized gadfly petrels known only from fossil bones that's well been known from the 1960s, but were only described in the mid-2010s. I hope you enjoy. Decent-sized birds, Imbers Petrels, known from the Chatham Islands, were named after New Zealand ornithologist Mark Imber, who was well known for his work and expertise on petrels. Their bones were discovered in 1947, but it was not until 1967 when ornithologist William Bourne considered them both an undescribed and extinct species, which was indeed distinct. A previous study that measures a large number of seabird bones from the Chathams found that there were three distinct size categories. The two opposing ends of the spectrum, being the smallest and largest bones, belonged to both the Chatham and Magenta petrels, respectively, with the middle-sized bones not really matching any living petrel species, and that they were therefore different. This was later confirmed by DNA testing, which showed that they were more closely related to species from the New Zealand mainland than to any other Chatham Island petrel species. The bones are known only from fossils up to about a few thousand years ago, and as such, little is known of them, and there are no records of them being seen alive. They were found to be well differentiated from other species, having diverged from their closest relatives around 1.37 million years ago through molecular clock calculations. They are thought to have proportionally longer legs than similar species based on their leg bones, although the rest of their skeleton is not well known. Most of their close relatives are dark above and white below, so it tracks that perhaps this extinct species has similar plumage colours from what can be reasonably inferred. Nothing is unfortunately known about their behaviour or ecology, but like all gadfly petrels, they would have been capable of travelling thousands of miles at sea to feed, and evidently occupying a different ecological niche to its Chatham Island relatives the magenta and chasm petrel. Birds became extinct apparently as late as the 19th century, when Europeans colonised the Chathams, with cats and rats being the most likely main cause of their demise. Their extinction may have inadvertently freeze up an ecological niche, allowing the similarly sized soft plumage petrels to colonise the New Zealand region in place of the Imbers birds. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you are now able to vote for the Chatham Island Rail, Small and extinct kiwi-like birds that have long, decoved brown bills. With that, I'll see you next time, whenever that's may be.